ไปตัวแต่ระหว่างคุณสตาร์กนะ CDI บุ้ยกับปะบะมีบางกันน้องเพื่อนสิไปตัวมูดิปายปามูร์สเตเบิลดีมาลาดลัดสตักอิกนิชันคอยล์ Versus our aftermarket ignition coil, almost the same lang sila. Ma pareho lang na hulma na pinanggalingan to. What I have here is the Phyto ignition coil model FT02A. May iba pang version yung FT02B. According to them, it's for FI. And yung mas malaking version at mas mal yung FT02 or the Phyto 7400. Also universal. Akala ko pare-pareho ng Phyto ignition coil lang kaya ito yung binili ko yung pinakamura. Later ko lang nalaman na may ibang version pala. Upon checking the specs, pareho lang ng rating yung FT02A terawatt na hawak ko and FT02 or yung Phyto 7400 na 40,000 volts. Mas matas yung sa FI version FT02B na nasa 45,000 Anyway, magkakatalo sila sa windings sa kasaratio ng primary and secondary coil. Duna lang sila magkakatalo nyan. Na hindi yarin malalaman dahil nasalobyon. And let's go mamet ay na mga testers na hindi ako maruno kung paano. In comparison, since mas malaki yung Phyto 7400 kesa sa terawatt na nasa akin, although parehas lang sila ng 40,000 volts na rating, maaring mas stable na voltage ang ma-provide na kuryente ng 7400 because I assume na mas maraming number of coils or windings ang nasa Phyto 7400 dahil nga mas malaki at mas mahal. What I mean by stable is mas makakasigurado tayo na may tamang spark every time we need it. Sa mga hindi nakakaalam, this ignition coil works like an induction coil. Baka may electrician dyan or electrical engineer na nanonood. Baka pwede nyo kaming bigyan ng info about this. Please leave a comment in the comment section. Anyway, I know the basics how it works. Mayroon tayong tinatawag na primary coil sa loob na kapag nakareceive ng kuryente galing CDI ay nagpo-produce ng magnetic field, parang electromagnet. This magnetic field will push the electrons on the secondary windings na magbibigay naman ng mas matas na voltage dahil mas marami ang ikot ng coil sa secondary kumpara sa primary. Mas maraming ikot ng coil, mas maraming electron yun na pupush ng magnetic field kaya mas matas yung voltage. Sa circuit natin, patay sindi yung bato ng CDI. Every time na mag-off yung supply, nagko-collapse yung magnetic field and natatransfer yung energy as high voltage current sa secondary windings na papuntang spark plug. Sa mas matas na magnetic field, mas smooth yung transition or flow ng kuryente. Kaya nabanggit ko na mas stable yung sa FITO 7400 kasi I assume na mas maraming ikot ng coil or windings yung 7400 na in theory ay mas matas yung magnetic field na magkocontribute sa stable supply ng voltage papuntang spark plug. ground tapos ito yung wire galing CDI ito yung papunta sa spark plug ang tanong madali ba ito unoping nobody matters like you who All right. Li Hua. So, almost the same. Kinda, medyo malaki naman yung payto natin. But design, it's almost the same. 
Actually, mas maganda nga ito. Yung may coating siya rito. Dito wala. Mas malaki yung screw nito. Ito manipis. If this aftermarket ignition coil can give us better or higher and stable voltage every time we need a spark, the result should give us a faster combustion or a better combustion. In theory, combustion should be more likely to be near complete compared to a weaker spark. Ibig sabihin, mas efficient. And being efficient, it will give us a better mileage and real-world power. This is by preventing misfires and inducing faster combustion. Bali, yung wire nitong split fire, ano to? Fiber na may windings. Ionization. Ito yung main reason kung bakit kailangan natin ng high voltage papuntang spark plug. At high voltage, the atmosphere that surrounds our spark plug gap will become ionized. Ionization meaning naglulus or naggegay ng electrons ang mga atoms. Sa madaling salita, nagiging unstable sila. At nagkakaroon tayo ng tiyatawag na electron avalanche. Nagiging conductive ng electricity ang area. And also, what we call pyrolysis. Pyrolysis, kung saan naghihihwa-hiwalay ang mga atoms ng molecules ng ating gasolina. Ito yung start ng combustion. These atoms are unstable. And if you are unstable, you will find a way to become stable again. This process releases energy that can make surrounding molecules also unstable. And the process will repeat in chain reaction hanggang sa makonvert na halos lahat ng gasolina at hangin natin into a more stable form. Umana siya! Nagtataka kung paano gumagana. Ah, may konti pa naman tayong gasolina rito eh. Alright. Excited na akong matesting. May naidagdag kaya. Makukuryente kaya ako. Parang gumanda yung response ah. <laughs> Tutulog yung baby ko kaya hindi ako dapat masyado maingay <laughs> This is my first time doing this kind of modification well, Malakas ang loob ko kasi pareho naman sila ng design eh, Kaya hindi ka na magkakamali sa pagkabit ng mga wire na yan Again, ito yung galing sa CDI ito yung galing sa CDI and this is ito yung papunta sa spark plug ito grounding ayos naman ito na rin yung pagkakataon para malinis natin yung mga hindi natin ma-reach na lugar uy kalawang to ah
pag may kaaway kayo tapos may motor siya good talaga yung gunting or cutter tapos gupitin nyo to matindi-tinding sakit ng ulo mabibigay nyo Hi, so after installing it, nanibago ko sa aking riding. Uh, ramdam ko yung paninibago, kaya lang hindi ko confirm kung dahil yun sa in-install kong shock absorbers o malaking yung naging epekto ng ating aftermarket racing ignition coil. Kaya para mas malaman natin, test ride ulit. Ito yung mga uri ng upgrade na kailangan talaga natin ng dyno para para ma-confirm natin kung may nagbago sa tuning ng kanyang power band. But since wala tayong dyno, tantya-tantya lang. Feel feel. Kaya test ride uli natin.
bago ba? Originally, nakasetup ng rich yung aking idol. Mataas yung pasok ng gas kumpara sa pasok ng hangin. And dati, tuwing sinusubukan kong ilin, nakaka-experience ako ng mga backfire. Ngayon, sinubukan kong ilin out o bawasan yung gasolina, dagdagan yung hangin, hindi na siya nagbabackfire. Hindi gaya nung dating settings. Sa tingin nyo, nagkataon lang kaya o nagkakaroon tayo ng mas complete na combustion. Nakasetup yung carburetor ko ng maliit yung main jet at malaki yung aking pilot jet. Kaya malakas siya sa low range pero mababa yung top speed niyan. Gusto ko malaman kung makaka-achieve ba ako ng higher RPM and tataas yung top speed kung lalakihan ko na yung aking main jet. Since maulan, next vlogs na lang. Kita-kits na lang next vlogs.